Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. This government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Be 
in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rooks, why are you let them Stay with us, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much in here. They'll respect a nine millimeter. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. Hey, what are you doing? We don't want any of your business. started the project because we know what happens next they will come they will try to take from us take our guns take our freedom take our faith we will not let them sheriff come on hold on we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore sheriff there will be no more second. suffering I'm fine. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Do not touch that service weapon! Hold on and don't stand down! Stand down! Everyone calm down! We knew this moment would come. And we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. Were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was White Horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Sometimes it's the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Keep back! 
Rookie, keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. Unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these the carpenters of doom will see the truth. Begin the refit! Come on, get out of here. Matthew, it's bad. They ambushed him. He's dead. 
We need to find those sinners. Ahead for the lumber mill. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Sorry, I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on, check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. Putting his whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it. We're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then. We're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh.
Nice work back there. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We gotta get back, but we gotta be smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and, 
fulfill their prophecy, and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Anybody copy? You ready to work? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken, too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath this week. Can you hear me? This is Dutch.
Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Third, you can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the Resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. I've got cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any cult shit you see. And help any folks in need, would you? Dutch out. Reject the father and pay the consequences. These fools have got this up. Wait for it. Come on, we'll help you, please! Thanks, Debbie. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boat house. Should have some good gear squirreled away. I've been rolling on the same tires for years.
You may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. So just grab them up. Get crafting.
saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. How much longer do we have to watch them? Oh. Can't believe. Help me get back in the fight. I was a dead man. Thanks. I've got a bone to pick with that cult. Hey, deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the two of you should head to the forest research station. Cult's been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. Copy. 
I'm right behind you. I know what you're thinking, and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. Sit tight. Shouldn't be much longer. 